I've always been drawn to home decor, fabulous homes, designer trends. Okay, I admit it, it's a bit of an obsession. But lately, I've realized that more important than having a beautiful home is having a home where I can rest, including a peace place, a place where I restore and recuperate, and my husband and daughter know that I'll be far better to tackle life's challenges after spending time there. I'm Karen Walrond. I believe in the power of photography and words. The practicing gratitude can make you joyful. That family is everything, and I am wildly convinced you're uncommonly beautiful. Welcome to The Karen Wallen Show. What's keeping you from feeling extraordinary? Is it you feel stressed by work, family, or life? Well, today we're talking about creating a haven, a space in your own home where you can fully relax and unravel, one that's intended just for you. And joining me today to talk about this topic is Lisa Ehrlich, an interior designer whose blog is Hampton Toes. I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And I'm so excited to talk to you about this because I am really passionate about my own personal peace place. But I was wondering, do you feel like all moms need a space like that? Because I certainly do. Absolutely. I believe as mothers, we live in a very fast-paced world with a lot of responsibility. And it's nice to have a place in our home that's a little haven for us to retreat to, to relax, unwind, and do something that just makes us happy. Okay, so let's see, how do we start? Like, when you're talking about this kind of a space, is it something that needs to be big or small? How much space are we talking about here? You don't need a lot of space to create your own little personal haven as a mother. I think what you need to do is establish if you're going to do it indoor or outdoor, and that depends mm -hmm. on the season. Sure. Also, I really love to use underutilized spaces. Okay. Perhaps a dining room. Those oh. are spaces we rarely ever use. Right, like Ooh. we only use ours at Christmas and Thanksgiving. Same with me. <laughs> right, wow, that's a great idea. Um, so in a dining room, you could put a desk in the corner, a nice chair. You know how a lot of times in a dining room, people have 10 chairs or eight chairs, or depending on how many they have, they always have a couple on the side of the room. <laughs> Pull one up, put it next to the console, and create a nice little spot. Um, the nice thing about that is during the holidays when you are using that area, you could always set that spot up as well as an extra place, you know, for, for all um, those platters drinks of food. or platters, that type of thing. Um, and I also love to use a guest bedroom. Again, it's a spot in the home that's rarely used. Right. And why not create a little area in there that's just for mom? Yeah, I have a friend who actually turned a closet that you can't, it's not even a walk-in closet. It was actually one where you just open the doors and she brings a seat right in, I, which I thought was brilliant, wallpapering a closet. That is brilliant. When she opens it up, there's happiness in yeah, it. It's a, her spot. And that, I'm a huge fan of wallpapering closets because that happiness from my, that space is just for you. Exactly. You know, yeah. I, talking about this, I, I've got to share my space with you, and I've got to share my space with you. So here's something I want to talk to you about. Here are three things that are important for me to have in my haven. The first is for inspiration. I have tons of paintings and photographs from my favorite artists hung all around the room. Secondly, I have something sentimental, my grandmother's photograph. My daughter Alexis was named after her and I actually lived with my grandmother for a couple of years when I was a teenager. She lived until she was 103 and she's a personal hero of mine. Finally, my twinkle lights around the window. When it's dark and stormy outside, these lights make me feel really cozy and comfortable while I work. So let's talk about furniture. What kind of furniture do you think all of these really great havens or these really wonderful peace places have? I think that it depends on the space. If it's indoor or outdoor, mm -hmm. let's start with outdoors. If you're outside, maybe a nice hammock. Oh, yes. Perhaps maybe a lounge under a tree next to beautiful landscaping. Yes. Um, and if you don't have that kind of space, even a nice blanket that you know that it's just mom's blanket your bag of totes and things that you would want to do on the blanket. Maybe read, oh, nice. relax, that type of thing. Okay. Inside, consoles, a desk, a chair, right, okay. a very comfortable little chair in the corner of a room. Okay, so we've got furniture, we've got space. Let's talk about how we warm this space up a bit. What do we add? What else do we need to have in it? I think it depends on you know what you want to do in the space, but the most important rule is things that make you happy. Okay. Perhaps blankets, throws. Nice. Um, beautiful flowers. Candlelight. Candles. Lamps. Lamps, definitely. No overhead lighting. Thank you. <laughs> I wish my husband would understand that. He loves overhead lighting. No overhead lighting. Maybe a little music. Ah, nice. You know? Excellent. Okay, so Lisa, we've talked about accessories. We've talked about furniture. This sounds like it could get really, really expensive. What if you don't have a whole lot of money? How do you create this kind of a space? 
I think regardless of a budget, mm -hmm. that you can definitely have a space. Um, sometimes it's creating a room within a room, as right. we've discussed, yeah. and also just being very savvy, which I find most mothers are, and shopping the sales. You can get really beautiful things if you shop the sales, and the season clearance sales are like the way that I like to go. That is so awesome. You yes. know what, Lisa, thank you so much for sharing all of these wonderful tips with us. I really appreciate having you here. Thank you, Karen. And thank you for joining us. Now I want you to tell me about your Peace Place. What makes it special for you? And if you don't have one, what would you like it to look like? Tell me all about it in the comments below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Cafe Mom Studios on YouTube to catch more episodes of The Karen Walrin Show. That's it for now. See you next time. Stay extraordinary.